everyone welcome back to my channel and welcome to my new subscribers and to my long-term subscribers i am so grateful for you all today we're going to work on a pair of skeleton earrings well skull earrings it is coming up on halloween so i'm going to do these and i'm going to make a witch's hat for you so let's look at our tools i'm going to use my aunt lydia's um, crochet thread. I have a three millimeter hook and you don't need a stitch marker if you don't want to but I like using the stitch marker so that we don't have to slip stitch. I have two earring hooks here, two two millimeter jump rings, a um, yarn needle and a pair of needle nose pliers. Now I have the curved ones. I prefer the curved ones. A pair of scissors and those are our tools so i will have everything linked down below in the description box including the kit that this comes in um, i make jewelry as well well i used to make jewelry and so i have a whole kit of uh, jewelry supplies so let's go ahead and get started let's start off with a magic ring for my beginners to make your magic ring go ahead and make the tail end of your um, thread go over your fingers you want to wrap your ear yarn around make sure this tail is long enough so that you can weave in later go ahead and make a cross across your fingers now everyone does this differently you do what's comfortable for you but i'm going to show you how i make it so then you insert your hook and put your hook in between those two bars there and pull through and twist and then grab your yarn making sure first you want to have that tail on the bottom because you want to chain three so to make your chain yarn over and pull through that's one that's two and that's three now you're going to twist your work make sure that your tail is up at the top and you can even pull it a little tighter if you want to. And now we're going to make seven double crochets into the chain here, into that loop. So yarn over. Let me adjust a little bit and come a little closer. We don't want it to be too light, too tight, or, or too loose. So after you make your three chains, go ahead and make your double crochet. For my beginners, the double crochet is to yarn over, go into the stitch. Yarn over and pull up your loop. Now you have three loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through two. Yarn over and pull through two. And we're going to do that again. Yarn over, go into your loop. Yarn over and pull up a loop. And pull up a loop just means that to go into your loop and grab your yarn and pull it through. And then yarn over and pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So we're going to make seven double crochets into that loop. And if you want to, you can pull it a little bit tight just to have those stitches nice and close. And if this is still too fast for you, I do have an absolute beginner's tutorial on how to make your basic crochet stitches. So give that a try if I'm going too fast here. So I have two double crochets into my loop. I'm going to add the rest of my double crochets. You will need seven double crochets into your loop. I'll be back. Okay, so once you've made your seven double crochets, go ahead and chain five. One, two, three, four, five and go back into your circle with another double crochet chain three one two three and then another double crochet back into the circle i have no idea what that was when i said double crochet i don't know what that was goodness gracious okay 
So this is what we have so far. You can sort of kind of see it coming together. We've made that double crochet. Go ahead and chain five. One, two, three, four, five. Oops. And then go ahead and close your magic circle. Pull it nice and tight. So this is what it should look like so far. Now we're going to do a half double crochet increase. So when you get to the end of a row and you've made your five chains, you're going to slip stitch into the top chain. Remember the chain that we made from the previous row? Go right into that top chain and go ahead and slip stitch. And that completes your round one. So once you've made your slip stitch, go ahead and chain two. Now we're going to work on our half double crochet increase. So to make your half double crochet, go ahead and yarn over for my beginners. You're going to go into the first stitch with two half double crochets. So yarn over, go into your stitch, yarn over and pull up a loop. You'll have three loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through all three of your loops. That gives you a half double crochet into the same stitch another half double crochet yarn over and pull through all three of your loops in the next stitch you'll make one half double crochet and then in your next stitch two half double crochets And you're going to do this for all seven of those double crochets that you made in the beginning of your round. You're going to make half double crochet. So I did two, one. This is two. This is my second half double crochet going in. And then one half double crochet into the next stitch. And two half double crochets into the next stitch and then one and then finally two in the last stitch So that is what you should have so far in your first stitch is your two half double crochets and then one in the next stitch, two in the next, one in the next, and all the way across. And as you can see, it's starting to come together a little bit. We've already done round one. We're now in round two. Okay, so once you've made your <clears throat> last two half double crochets, you're going to make five single crochets into this loop here so go in remember do not yarn over go in and pull up your loop yarn over and pull through two that's a single crochet so you're going to make five of those this is two three four And five. Okay. So five single crochets into the okay. So when you've made your last single crochet, we're gonna go into this three chain space with five double crochets. So again for my beginners, a double crochet is yarn over, go into your stitch, yarn over and pull up a loop, yarn over and pull two. Yarn over, pull through two. Again, into that circle, again into that three chain space. Yarn over, pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. And we're going to make five double crochets into that space there. This is three, four, and five. 
Okay. Now back into that next chain space, that five chain space. Same thing you did over here. You're going to make five, uh, yeah, five single crochets. That's one, two, three, four, and five. So those are your five single crochets on the side. Remember, we started with five, went into five double crochets, and then ended with five single crochets on the other side here. And this is what she should look like so far. So now we're going to go and slip stitch into the second chain. Remember, we chain three. So you're going to slip stitch into the second chain of the chain three from the previous row. We're back to the beginning of the row. And chain one. Now we're going to come around with some edging here. So you're going to go into the first stitch with your hook. Come through and make a slip stitch and chain one. I'm going to do that all the way around. Go into the next stitch, pull up, and pull through the loop again, and chain one. All the way around. That is your pattern for this third row. Go in, make your slip stitch, and chain one. Do that all the way around. Slip stitch, and chain one. Right into the next stitch, pull up a loop. And then pull that loop through the, the previous loop. And that's how you make a slip stitch. And chain one. Don't forget to chain one. Go in, pull through. Oops. Oopsie, oopsie, oopsie. Go in and slip stitch. And chain one. That's your pattern all the way around. And I'm going to meet you when we get back to the beginning so we can work on the mouth area. So now when you're making your slip stitches here, we're getting close to that double crochet. We're going to stop there. This will be the last time we make our slip stitch and our chain one because we're going to go into making the mouth of the project. So uh, I'm going to continue making these slip stitches, chain one. And this is my last one into that double crochet there. That's where we made that double crochet in round two. So now we're going to start working on the mouth. And this is what we have so far. Okay. Okay. So once you've made that last slip stitch, you're going to chain three. And make one double crochet into the next four. One. Three and four. So once you've made your four double crochets, go ahead and chain three, one, two, three, and then slip stitch into the next stitch. Chain one, and then just continue repeating that slip stitch and chain one pattern. So into your next stitch, you make a slip stitch and a chain one. Your next stitch will be a slip stitch and a chain one. Chain one. Okay, we want our last one. Switch stitch. These slip stitches can be rough, can't they? And chain one. And look at that. 
This is what we have so far. Let me put that in the palm of my hand so we can see that pretty skull right there. Very nice. Okay, so I have, <clears throat> excuse me, my needle nose pliers and my jump rings and my earrings. The way you put on your needle nose pliers is you can use your fingers to twist these open, but I would suggest you do not do that. That's, that hurts. So, um, as you can see, at the top of the jump ring, there's, let me see if I can get some, there's a bit of a split right there. So that's the part you're going to open. So you're going to use your needle nose pliers and it just helps you to open up that ring. So you use your other hand to go ahead and twist it and it makes it easier to open it up. Okay. There's that ring. It's nice and open now. So now I'm just going to go to the top of my skull and go ahead and insert that loop right in there. It's called a jump ring. And twist that right on there. And then add my earrings. Now I always had an issue with adding earrings, but you want to add them with the, the hook part facing out. And then you just go back in and squeeze everything together and twist your back together again. And you can even squeeze it. Now you can use a flat nose um, flat nose pliers. These are flat nose, but these are kind of curved. Or you can use the ones that are straight. But I like the curved ones. They're easier to handle for me. And that's how you do it. That's how you make your earring. And you add that jump ring on it. Let's do the next one. Let's go ahead and find that split, which is right at the very top. Right at the very top. Hope you can see that right there. And then you just use your other finger to push one way and your, your pliers will twist the other way. So twist it like that. And let's add our other earring right onto that jump ring. Just twist it around until the other end comes out on top. And then we're going to add our earring. Now this is the opposite earring, so you're going to put it in the opposite way, facing this way, like this. And if that's incorrect, you can always take that off and fix it. That's the awesome thing about, you know, these jump rings is you can open and close them. You don't want to do it too much because it might snap if you're doing that too often. But this is what they look like. And I'm going to show you what they look like on the mannequin as well. Here are the earrings. I know it's not a mannequin head, but close enough. <laughs> so this is what they look like. And they came out really great. I, I like the color. I'm not real big on Halloween and celebrating Halloween, but I figured why not? Times aren't what they used to be when you can open your door and hand out candy. So I stopped doing that a long time ago. But these are the earrings and in the next tutorial i'm going to make some glow in the dark skulls but i just want to see what show you what these look like it came out really really good so i want to thank you for watching this tutorial please don't forget to like and subscribe and follow me on facebook and instagram at cam tie handmade crochet have a great day guys Bye bye here are the earrings. I know it's not a mannequin head, but close enough. <laughs> so this is what they look like. And they came out really great. I, I like the color. I'm not really big.